And guys, the sunshine finally arrived, so it is a time for a bright new art. We are going to do some sunflowers. If you're new on this channel, consider to subscribe. My name is Dorota Palicka, international new artist and educator, and I'm here with you every Monday. So in this 15 episode, as I have showed you before, we're going to do the sunflowers. Uh, I have done two already and now we want to do a one on the side uh, which is completely matching. So first step what I have to do is as usual above the tip, remove the dust and then apply the white gel polish. I'm going to use the upvoted 173 just on the entire needle. and then cure it. It is a 30 seconds cure in LED light. We're also going to use some Color Plus gels and uh, once my tip is curing I'm going to put them in here because uh, we will mix the colors we need. So this is my kind of five colors combo I'm always using and uh, this is your basic colors, so I've got red, blue, yellow, white and black and uh, kind of I don't like to store too many products. <laughs> so I usually go for um, paint on French, which is white, and then the foil design gel, which is black, because it gives me more opportunities to work with different um, nail arts, because you can use it as a color plus gel, but also you can use it for a French another new art so it is a definitely a must-have for me I'm applying quickly the second layer cure it and and here I'm going to you need a lot of yellow color so I'm going to have one with yellow here maybe a tiny bit on the other side as well I definitely going to need some blue because blue and yellow is going to give me green and that's what we needed for the leaves. I'm going to need red just because we want some orange to go through and we also need to create some brown, brown color as well. This is actually a good tip for you like how to mix the colors and create all sorts of different designs and I'm going to need some white too. The white I usually have like a two scops. There we are and I'm going to need a little bit of the top coat as well. So I'll put two places with the top coat. Cool. I've got my palette ready. I can put quickly the top coat on my tip. And then cure it. So it is a 30 seconds cure as well. And now we're going to mix. Uh, first of all, we need some brown. So to get the brown, I'm going to mix orange first. And this orange we're going to need for our sunflowers as well. So I've got nice orange. And then tiny bit of this orange, I'm going to put on the side and add a drop of the black into it. And a red. So you can see I have created a brown color as well. And now if I want to lighten it up, I would add a drop of the white to get a different shade of brown. So you can kind of play and, and create the colors you really need it. My tip is cure. I can buff it. So put the products on the side and then buff it. You 
could go straight away into the gel polish as well without of applying the top coat and paint on it. So I can put my gels on the sides and now we've got three tips which we have already created. And what I want you to see, there we are, is where we're going to join the things. So here I've got a tiny bit of the leaf. And for a leaf I need a green color. So I'm going back into my mixing palette and I'm mixing yellow with the blue. So I have created some green color. And now depending how light I wanted it, I can add it a tiny bit of the white into it. Going to squeeze out more yellow because actually I have used all the yellow and that's the main color we need for the sunflowers. So yeah, I've got nice green, which I'm going to apply in here. So this is the continuation of the leaf. So I've got a leaf in there. And also we need to draw some sunflower. Because this one is in full, I'm going to create another one um, a little bit on the side as well. But also look what I have done with my brush during this video. I was mixing the colors. So yeah, don't do that. Use the sp uh, spatula or any other stuff. Just to make the life easier for yourself and don't damage your brush. But I'm going to go and use the brown first and I want this sunflower to be a little bit on the side so we're creating the middle part so I'm working with the brown first I need to swap this brush guys And then go black around it. The middle is really important. You want it to look kind of nice and realistic. So I'm dipping in my brush into the yellow and oranges and I'm going to do some highlights there. Like lots of lots of small dots. So this way I've got like different colors through it. I can also take a tiny bit of the white. And do even a smaller dots. The sunflower has some seeds inside the middle of the flower, so you can kind of, those white kind of indicates that there is something and it's not a flat black color only. The next step is to create the bottom layer of the petals. So for that I'm going to work mainly with some oranges, a mix with the yellow, so they are not too dark either. And we're drawing those petals which are on the bottom. And this part, I didn't cure my brown because what I like is like that sometimes when my brush touch the brown, I'm picking up this color as well and it gives me a little bit of fading inside my petals. So. So it's not going to be like a flat color. Mm -hmm. 
make sure you leave the gaps in between them just so we can squeeze another row of the petals in there okay so it looks like a little bit like a sunshine now at this stage i need to cure it and it is going to be a 30 seconds cure also i've got some time to try to fix my brush i've got a spare one in here but so what i will do is i'm using the top coat and i'm kind of rolling my brush on the side to get a really nice straight point back in again I tend to train the brushes to my hand, so usually the older the brush, the better it is. Uh, for a gel polishes, uh, I'm not as fast like, uh, but for acrylic paints, my brush has to be like an um, absolutely perfect condition to do those very sharp here, um, strokes and the fine lines. Let's go and put some green before we paint those um, top petals. So I've got some green stream here. clean my brush on the side and paint the petals which are on the top so now with the yellow I can add a tiny bit of white into it to make it to stand out even more and nice and thin at the top and then going bulky so see how much nicer it looks once we have added another petal there and because we've got those difference in the colors, it looks more realistic, like the ones on the back are darker. And then the ones which are on the top are lighter. It still looks kind of flat, so after we have created those petals, I'm going to cure it and then we will use the white color to highlight some places. Like with any kind of design, the more time we spend on it, the better it is going to look. So I've got the second layers of the petals done, but it still doesn't look like wow, to be honest. Uh, you can compare the difference. I show you the one I was playing before. So you can see there is still lots of detail missing and those kind of details make uh, the designs to pop out. So I have to cure it now. And at this stage, I could use a lower lights, uh, which is a top coat mixed with a little bit of the darker colors. So my darker color for a yellow petals is the orange mixed with brown and top coated, like lots of top coat in it. So we've got a really nice and thin consistency. Another one I'm needing is a highlight and highlights would be my white mixed with the top coat. Here we are. So I've got my colors mixed and the tip is cured as well. So let's go to the darker one, which is the orange one we mixed with the top coat. And what we can do is we can add a tiny bit of this color just inside of some petals. You don't want too much of it, but something. And then we need to still apply a bit more detail inside the middle. So I'm going to go a bit darker in here. Lots of lots of small dots. Like a kind of shaky movement of the hand. And then the white ones, so very tiny.
three dots. I also need to add the definition to my petals, so I'm mixing the white with a tiny bit of top coat. And now at this stage I need my brush to be really nice and thin. And I'm outlining the petals which are on the back. See this brush is no use, I'm going to swap it, so flash cure it. And I'm going to swap to the not damaged brush, which I didn't use for mixing the paints. There we are. I can remove my tip and add those highlights. Like when doing such a small detail, as best you don't press the brush too hard. And look what I'm doing as well, like some of those petals are going on top of the black middle. Now I've got a pretty big blob of the white on the top and here, so I need to blend it. it. I added a tiny bit of the yellow and now I'm just blending it out so it's not as obvious. And same the one which is with the orange here. I need to give a little bit of definition to this leaf as well on the side, so I'm mixing a tiny bit of white, yellow, green. To add some highlights and then a tiny bit of the blue with the green for a low light, so I've got like a darker looking green. I'm cleaning my brush, going into the white. Touch up this place, and that's basically the sunflower finished. Uh, we could spend a little bit more detail on it, like, you know, add a little B or some uh, more highlights, but I'm quite happy the way it looks. So in total, we've got three flowers. I'm going to cure it up, uh, apply the top, and then I show you a full look without of the light reflection. I've got a really strong light above me, just so you can see a little bit lighter and more. And then apply the top coat. I think when the new, uh, white neons are so popular and the yellow color, uh, it is a nice design for the clients. So I hope you have uh, enjoyed it. That's the other two. And the third one is almost ready. I'm going to show you that as well. And if you did, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because then you get some notification of the new designs which are coming up. And I do them every Monday. So every Monday you will see like a quick salon design. Uh, and then on top of that, once a month, I'm doing my own meal, so you can see it like um, different kind of um, um, coffin. Usually will be a coffin or stiletto meals uh, on the channel here as well, and some clients which I'm doing as well. So quite a lot of things going on, and also sometimes I do a bit of vlog as well. So 
Uh, if you have enjoyed this tutorial, just share it with your friends and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.